on the Kosafa Cup campaign will not only be on winning the tournament, but will be an opportunity for interim coach Desri Ellis to assess a few of her new players in a competitive environment. This will be as she explores ways to integrate them with the more experienced players. South Africa will play lowly ranked Lesotho in their opening match of the tournament on Thursday. It shouldn't be troublesome to get past neighbors Lesotho. Banyana Banyana boasts a total of 665 caps against a team that has not been active in the last 18 months. It's an opportunity to give fringe players a run against a team that will not pose much of a threat. However, Desri Ellis is likely to go for a more experienced 11. What is important is to get off to a good start as he chases a result. It will allow the coach to explore with a few more players in the upcoming games. I feel that all the players here are capable of starting. I think we have a fantastic group of players, that the margins for selection is so, so small. Uh, we just have to decide on the day who's going to play, be the better option for us. But um, I wouldn't feel in any way sad or bad if we were not to play a few of the experienced players because um, the other players have also raised their hand. This is the fifth edition of the Women's Kosafa Cup. South Africa have been champions on three occasions, finishing as runners-up in the last edition, also hosted in Zimbabwe. Banyana Banyana are once again favourites. They come into the tournament as the top-ranked team. Although expectation is that they will cruise through the group stages, they will not take their opponents for granted. It's a lesson they learned in the last Africa Cup of Nations tournament in Cameroon. We need to really go for, go for it in this game. Uh, we saw what happened when we played Zimbabwe at AFCON. Um, we want to get off to a good start and getting off to a good start also builds confidence within the team. It also gives you a bit of momentum because the first, team, uh, first game of any tournament is the most important. The match against Lesotho kicks off at 2 o'clock in the afternoon at the Louvre Stadium. Lebron Tube, SBC News, Pulawayo, Zimbabwe. All right, let's catch up with the news from the 2017 Kosafa Women's Championship in Zimbabwe that promises to be a festival of football and a celebration of the great strides made in the women's game in recent years and a record field of 12 teams, including East African guests, nation like Kenya, will showcase the quality of footballers in the region as teams build for the African Women's Championship qualifiers that start early next year. So, Lebhan Dube, as we've heard, is in Zimbabwe. Let's just to try, let's try and get the latest on what has happened because we heard earlier that he said there was a game that was playing at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Lebohan, good afternoon. What's the latest? Good afternoon, uh, Colin, and thanks for having me. Well, um, this uh, morning, Banyana Banyana had uh, their final training session uh, ahead of uh, tomorrow's match against uh, Lesotho, which, uh, as I indicated in the practice, that it will play at the stadium at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and then from the training session, you could actually get a sense of um, which players uh, LS will field um, in the starting 11. Uh, there's a mixture of uh, youth and, uh, and experience, and obviously she'll uh, as well try and explore with, with a couple of players who are unkept. Um, looking at the team, uh, the experience of the likes of Noko um, and uh, Nyangeni will not will be on the bench. Uh, the two post uh, 100, just over 100 caps. Um, and I think the situation where this is looking that, you know, they're playing against a lowly ranked the super team, and perhaps this is an opportunity for her to uh, try out new players. Uh, as I indicated that, uh, you know, that they're not a team that will pose much of a threat uh, to Banyana Banyana. So I think that's why uh, she has opted to, you know, uh, that bring in that mixture uh, into the team and hopefully get the result. Yeah, you know, we know that there is a trend that you're only as good as your last games. So it has been a very long time that this tournament has not been taking place. And when we talk about Banyana Banyana, we remember the likes of Poshia Modise. That's a long time ago. Now, talking about now, because then is then, now is now, what is it that we can expect from South Africa? Look, I think, um, you know, uh, the experience from, from the, last, the last tournament, uh, the AWC African uh, women's Championship, which is now called the AFCON, the women's AFCON. Uh, the team, Banyana Banyana, had a, had a poor start to the tournament. And, uh, you know, that uh, put a lot of pressure on the team uh, to actually make sure that they actually qualify for for the semi-finals. And in their first match was against uh, Zimbabwe um, at the AWC. 
and they came out of the next thing uh, to a draw. So I think um, this time, you know, the lessons learned from 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 Jim Reed is that they want to get off to a good start. And if you look at the team, um, you know, there are a couple of players who were part of that particular tournament. Uh, so I think the experience from that uh, tournament and the Sudan players have played um, in the Olympics. They've played in a number of Fcons, and some of the players as well have played at the World Sudan Games. So there's a lot of experience in the team, and I think we can expect a good result against a Lesotho team, which is actually not even ranked um, on the on the chef uh, rankings because they've not been active for at least 18 months. So at least you know, looking at Banyana Banyana, the last match that they played competitive, or the last match was in January. So I think that uh, you know they've got that edge over over Lesotho, and I think uh, they'll be able to get the three points, and that would be good for them because then in the next two matches. Uh, they will try, and then that will give Desu Ellison an, an opportunity to explore now with more uh, players uh, who are uncapped or players who've got very few caps. All right, Lebohang Dube speaking to us live from Bulawayo. And coming back home, Orlando Pirates have moved up to the second place on the Absa Premiership block.